Okay, so if you guys are wondering what this pile of scrap metal is, let me take you in and show you. Okay guys, we are back. Sorry, I know it's been a couple months. Um, had some things we had to get, deal with and uh, construction loans and whatnot. So I am working, and I don't think I ever brought you guys down here. This is the floor furnace that we have to get out of here. Now the gas is shut off. We have the pipe disconnected. We have the electrical disconnected. And this was the, uh, actually I should say, this pipe here went into this box here. Um, this was the fresh air intake. And the thing was, is that when we started disconnecting this thing, and I hope you guys can see this, um, there is a hole. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Let me move my other light here. There's a hole right there. And this was not even sitting in it. It was actually sitting next to it. So it was not pulling in fresh air. It was pulling in air from the house. That's a big no-no. Uh, anyhow, uh, I think I said before this floor furnace is coming out. I am not using this thing in any way, shape, or form. So that's what we're working on today is getting the floor furnace out. And I have my employees upstairs. Uh... I have no idea what they're doing upstairs. <laughs> uh, they, they, they're arguing about something, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's a friendly argument. So that's what we're doing today is we are attempting to pull out this floor furnace and I would try to keep recording, but I only have one light and we're going to have to be moving that light around. So if I set the camera up anywhere, I just have to keep moving it and moving it and moving it, and I've got to get this stuff done. The water heater has to come out, too. I just kind of wanted to show you that that, this was, uh, oh, let me take it back over here real quick. I'll show you how this was sitting. <sighs> Maybe. All right, well, I can't move it now. But anyways, this was this was kind of up there, but it was it was not actually in the pipe. It was kind of like sitting next to it, squished against the board over here. <sighs> Anyhow, if you have somebody putting in a furnace or something, I, I know you know inspectors and stuff should come in and be checking that and uh, everything. But if you have somebody putting in a furnace and this furnace was put in 1949 but um, this stuff is obviously new so they were trying to make this furnace work and I guess they did get it working a little bit but when you have somebody and I should say the woman probably didn't know and maybe even the guy thought he got it up in there but he didn't uh, maybe he thought it was close enough I, I don't know but if you have somebody putting in a furnace that, that's not licensed, it's not, you know, a licensed and bonded person, um, you really need to come down and check their work. And if you don't know what it looks like, don't have an unlicensed person doing it, okay? Because, you know, I don't know what all of this is from. This is soot, soot that came out of the pipe. It wasn't vented correctly uh, it was pulling air from inside the house not outside the house I don't know it's it's scary how much could have gone wrong in this house it really is my daughter's lovely with pig leg okay the furnace is out yay that's the hole it left behind so we gotta fix that we're going to take out the metal sheeting around it and fix the floor. Yay. 
We got the furnace out. <laughs> yes! Okay. Would they like to know how we did it? We just hit it with a bunch of rammers and everything until it eventually broke. <laughs> so, and either this was breaking before us or we were breaking for it. <laughs> I think it broke. Yeah. Anyhow, furnace is out. Yay! Only been months. All right. I want that quarter. Oh, one other thing. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me go over the hole here. Something else I wanted to show you guys. Another thing that we started doing, the spray foam is going in. And this is closed cell, closed cell. And it does have an E84 fire rating. So it has a fire retardant in the foam itself. And uh, yeah, this has actually made quite a bit of a difference in here, even though we don't have it all done yet. We got some of it done over here too. But we ran out, we ran out right when we got to about there. So anyhow, we'll have to uh, finish, finish this wall over here. Actually, we got to finish the whole thing. Anyhow, uh, electrical outlets are going in. I know it looks like there's a lot of them, but I counted it, added up the amps. It ought to be fine. Well, actually, it ought to be fine for a 20 amp circuit. I'm going to have to find out if this is a 20 amp or a 15 amp. Uh, I'll have to talk to the electrician about that. Anyhow, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you liked this content and want to watch more. And I will be back hopefully soon.